Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Depending on the part of the world you are now, we hope that you are safe and healthy, and we are thrilled to open this session, a skill building session, on how to use system thinking at the district level. My name is Daniel Kopos. I am a senior scientific collaborator at the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute in Basel. And I would like to especially welcome all, those, all, all the system thinkers that are out there in the world working on the health sector and now part of Health Systems Global. You may not know if you're a system thinker, but if you think that the stakeholders in the system are important and, they, and their relationships are important too, if you think that the performance of a system uh, depends on different factors that interact in a dynamic way, or if you think that, that history and context are important to understand how health systems operate today, you might be a system thinker, and we really, really want to connect with you. You will hear more about this at the end, uh, where Aku Kwame from the Alliance for Health Policies and Systems Research will will present SISTAC, the System Thinking Accelerator. So stay tuned at the, until the end of the session because this might interest you. This session is all about unintended consequences. We hear so many times that project, the projects that work beautifully in one setting, that they are very successful, they are taken to another setting and they fail, they lose effectiveness. And we think that system thinking can help you make some of those unintended consequences pre predictable and, and you can prevent them if you, if you know them in advance. And for the last two, three decades, there has been a lot of work on developing tools and approaches that, that can help us all understand what is going on in the system, in, in health systems and intervene on them. We can, we can look at how nonlinear relationships are, are built in a system with causal loop diagrams. We can influence social networks. We can understand how stakeholders are, are, are positioned in the system and how, what is the power, relationship, the power relations among them, for example. We can understand the end-to-end -end processes of a system trying to avoid silos and fragmentation that is so common in our health systems all over the world. But we can, we can, we can see how different factors can influence the system in a, and, and quantify them in, with systems dynamic modeling and, and, not only, and not only understand the performance today, but also create the scenarios for the future on how the system could behave. So we have plenty of tools, fantastic tools that are out there that we can use, that district managers could use, that implementers could use. But the thing is that when we, when we bring those tools to the, to, the, to the district managers, to the, to the directors of health facilities, to the health professionals, they say, oh, no, but this is this looks really researchy. This is not our cup of tea. This is not what we do. Mm, no, this is too complicated. There are many different tools. I don't know, or I don't have the time to do this. This is really cumbersome. They, you, we need a lot of data, and I need to sit for three months to do this right. So with this, we, we see this as, a, as, a, as, a, as the next step for, for system thinking to continue getting traction. We see that now that there is a body of knowledge on, on how these tools operate, how they can be useful, now we need to bring them to the managers, to the implementers. And this is what we are trying to do in, the, in a project find, funded by the, the Alliance for Health Policies and System Research. We are trying, we, what we are aiming is to adapt system thinking tools so that they can be used by district managers, by, by directors of health, of, of health facilities. So in this session, we will draw from the lessons on, uh, from the experience that we have had for the last year, for the last year on that project and that on that program on that initiative, and we would like to share with you some of the lessons learned, some of the some of our experience, and some of the some of the problems that we are facing, and hopefully you can help us in in solving them. We have uh, so we so to do this, we have a fantastic panel uh, that will be. Uh, presenting some of the experience that we had, we have uh, 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 that we have had in the in the initiative. We will start with Don de Savigny. He is one of the gurus of system thinking applied to health systems. He's well known, and he will give a, a, a brief overview of system thinking and why this can be used for this can be useful for districts. Then we have Carmen San from Swiss TPH who will uh, describe how the initiative is built and how COVID has affected the initiative. 
and some of the positive unintended consequences that COVID has brought to, to our initiative. Then we will hear from, from Samsha and Sahim from Pakistan, and she will tell us how they are using business process mapping to improve contact tracing strategy for COVID-19 in Pakistan, in Islamabad. Then Antonio Bonito from Timor-Leste, he will, he will describe their journey so far in, in Timor on how to integrate systems thinking, some of the barriers, some of the concerns from the district, some of the, the problems that they are facing, but also some of the successes that they, are, that they have had over the past year. And third, and, and the third experience from country will come from Tiamo Cabeze from Botswana. And they have a, an interesting experience on, on using different tools to look at reality, to use different tools that, that, that can be, that can provide the meaningful information from the same reality, but from different angles. So it's a really interesting presentation. And finally, uh, to wrap up everything and to bring everything to Sistak Akukwame, will be launching and presenting for the first time the System Thinking Accelerator, uh, SISTAC. Uh, this is meant to be a community of, this is, SISTAC is meant to be a community of, of practitioners, a community of system thinkers all over the world, from research to, from academia to, uh, to ministries of health, to health facilities, to everyone that is working on health. Uh, and in system thinkers should be part of this of this uh, community that we, we call SISTAC. So she will be presenting that at the end. And, and me, Daniel, and, and Helen, we will be moderating this, the flow and, mo and moderating this couple of hours, and hopefully you, and, uh, which hopefully you enjoy. And without further ado, I'm going to give the word to, to Don, to Don de Savigny, to give us some, some insights on, on how system thinking can be useful for districts. Over to you, Don.